I'm Sensei Bryce. I'm Sensei Dana. I'm Senpai J. I'm Sensei Satori. And this, this is, is Rising Tide, Tide Martial Arts, Arts Online. Online. Hello, I'm Sensei Satori, and today we are going to be learning a couple more strikes, and then we are going to be getting into our four counts, which is a combination that uses our knees, elbows, feet, and hands. This is your daily workout reminder to drink plenty of water and fluids. And also, if you're breathing really hard after an exercise, to keep your hands up. And this opens your rib cage, your lungs can take in nice big gulps of air. Sometimes when we work out really hard, we want to like crumple over and that is not good for you. So, drink water, put your hands up. I didn't do it! Okay, so we're gonna start with stretching out our arms. So just bring it across. I think most of us have done this stretch before. It was like middle school PE for me. Terrible time in life. So I'm gonna start with my right arm. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna hold it for about 15 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and switch. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, arm up. Try to touch your back as far as you can. Help hold that elbow in place while you do it. All right. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's stretch out our back. So we're gonna turn as far as we can, one direction and then the other, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Don't get too dizzy. Okay. All right, now we're going to do some arm circles. So I'm just rotating my arms back. I'm gonna do that 10 times. I sure hope that was 10. Okay, we're gonna also do the uh, cookie mixer one. So elbows out like you're a scarecrow and then rotate one direction. Another direction. All right, now we have our shoulders all loosened up and we're going to sit down and stretch out our legs. We're gonna start with our butterflies. So hold your feet, try to push your knees down as far as you can to the floor. If you want, you can flap it out. Tell me where your butterfly is flying to today. And if you can, and you're way more graceful and flexible than I am, you can try to touch your toes to your nose or your nose to your toes. Tell me how it smells down there. Hold it. Okay, now we're gonna do a right leg in L stretch. Hold your toes, bend as far as you can. If you want to grab the bottom of your foot, if you're super flexible, you're welcome to. Hold that for 15 seconds. Get my hair out of my face to you. All right, now switch, switch, switch. Bet you didn't see that coming. Okay, now to the right side. I'm used to always doing this backwards when I teach the kids classes. So I put in the other leg so that they don't get confused because they don't see that we're mirroring them. They just try to follow along directly. So now I don't know how to do it the regular way now. Okay, now straddle legs out as far as you can. If you have a partner that'll drag your hands down, that's great. Otherwise, we're just gonna lean forward as far as we can. If you wanna distract yourself from the pain of existence, you can drum it out. One 
one side. Walk it over to the other side and try to keep your chest nice and open when you have your arm up here doing your little crescent. Okay, if you want you can do some rock and rolls if you're on a nice enough surface and you don't have back issues. So you're just gonna hold your legs, suck and roll. All right, and right after this is the last one, so get Okay, so for our warm up today, we're going to be doing some jumping jacks and then some burpees. I know everybody's favorite. Okay, so let's do 30 jumping jacks. If you want, you can do these with a push up at the bottom. If you want some extra workout, otherwise, you can just do a plate position at the bottom of your burpees. So let's do 15 of those. And I will not do the push up, but you go right ahead. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and last one. Make it count. So now we're going to do some push ups. I'm going to show what they look like doing push ups from your knees because I know a lot of uh, beginners or the kids that we work with don't have the muscle definition to do really nice form uh, when they're on their toes for their push-ups. So I'm going to show you from the knees, but if you are strong enough to do it from your toes, please do that instead. So we're going to do 10 push-ups and then we're going to do um, some plank to push-up position and that I will do on my toes. But for the push-ups, you can either do ones where you're arms are going out like this or you can bring your hands in and do ones where your arms are going next to your body like this. I'm going to do the out ones, do whichever one you would like or which ones you feel like you need to work on and let's go for 10. Okay, and now for our plank to push up position. So what that looks like, plank top of the push up on your toes for this, and then you're gonna bring it down to your elbows, and then back up. And we'll do 10 of those also. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, and then we're gonna do some butt work. So you start with your feet together, and then you're going to go out at a 45 degree angle, drop that other leg and bend that knee, come back, do it with your other leg. So you're making kind of a little V in front of you. And this is called female triangle. So we're gonna do about 10 of those. And that counts as one for both. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can also 
do it backwards. And I'm on kind of a slidey surface here, so maybe don't do that. Okay, so when we go backwards, bring that leg out at a 45 degree angle behind us. And we're also gonna kind of tuck our heads back like we're dodging a stick or a fist coming at our face. Back, back, and we're going to do 10 of those, counting the same way we did the first time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. So the first thing we're going to work on are knee strikes and elbow strikes. So right foot back guarding stance, ha! All right, knee strikes are pretty simple. You bring them up and you strike. And usually you'd be grabbing somebody's shoulders and striking their head into your knee. So that's why usually we put our hands here and kind of force them into our knee. So let's do 10 on each side. Ready? One. on each side. So for that, you do a lunge like you would normally do in exercises, up into a knee strike and back. So one, two, three, four, five, ha! All right, switch left side. So lunge, one, two, three, four, and now onto our elbow strikes. So guarding stance, we're hitting with our elbow. There's three different types of elbow strikes we usually do. So there is a horizontal elbow strike, which comes straight across the body, nice and horizontal. Then there is a vertical elbow strike, which comes up. So be good for like hitting someone in the bottom of the chin, up. And then there is a diagonal. So that comes up and then down diagonally across a person. So be good for hitting like a collarbone. Okay, so we're gonna go horizontal, vertical, diagonal, and we're gonna do three times on our right and switch to our left. So one, two, three. Switch, they definitely switch one around in there for you, but that's okay. All right, other side, one, two, Three. Switch it up again. You just never know where I'm coming from. So for our four counts, I'm gonna start in our guarding stance and we're going to use a lot of the kicks and punches we've learned so far. So we're going to do one through six today, but there are 12 four counts in total. They're called four counts because there's four strikes in each. So the first one starts with a right roundhouse and then you bring it back. So roundhouse and then hook, cross, switch kick. So for a switch kick, you switch your legs and then do a roundhouse. So from the side, that looks like switch, roundhouse. Okay, so back to our four count. So right roundhouse, hook, cross, switch, left round house. Okay. So then number two does the same thing, but it starts on the left side. So switch, left round house, cross, hook, right round house, bring it back. Okay. So let's just do one and then two. So one, right round house, hook, cross, switch, left kick. Number two, switch, left kick, cross, hook, right roundhouse. Bring back. All right, one more time. Right roundhouse, hook, cross, switch, left roundhouse. Put it down. Switch, 
left roundhouse, cross hook, right roundhouse, bring back. So now that you have the first two down, we're gonna move on to the third. And one of the things about four counts is that that last strike moves up your body. So for one and two, it's a kick. For three and four, it's a knee. And for five and six, it's an elbow. So now for number three, we're gonna do right kick, hook, cross, switch, left knee, three back. And then for number four, it's gonna be the same thing on the other side. So switch, left kick, cross, hook, right knee. Don't have to switch because it's already in the back. So let's do one or three and four, two more times. All right, so three. move on to five and six, which as I promised, end in an elbow strike. So, number five, right kick, hook, cross, elbow. Number six, switch, left kick, cross, hook, right elbow. Let's do those two more times. Number five. Number six. Number five. Number six. Remember your breathing. Okay, so now let's go through all of them one more time. So number one, right kick, hook, cross, switch, left kick. Number two, switch, left kick, cross, hook, right kick. Number three, knee. Right kick, hook, cross, switch, left knee. Number four, switch, left kick, cross, hook, right knee. Number five, elbows. Right kick, hook, cross, elbow. Switch, left kick, number six, cross, hook, right elbow. All right, good job, you have your first six four counts. Oops.